Chapter 2. The Small Men Something is walking on my leg. I open my eyes and try to move my head. I can't move. Ropes tie me to the ground. I see a very small man next to my face. He's about six inches tall. The small man has a bow and arrow in his hand. I shout, and he's scared. The small man runs along my arm and jumps onto the ground. I break the ropes on my arm and hair. Then I move my head. Small arrows hit my face and body. There are hundreds of small men near me. They're shooting arrows at me. Am I imagining this? Are these small people real? Why are they so angry, I think? I'm very surprised. I put my arm over my face to protect my eyes. The small men are speaking in a strange language. I can't speak to them because they don't understand me. Finally, they stop shooting the arrows. One of the men climbs on me again. I don't move because I don't want to scare him. Other men climb on me too. When they get to my face, I point to my mouth. I am hungry, I say. The men are scared, but they don't move. One of the men understands and shouts to the people on the ground, and they run in different directions. Soon they return with a lot of food and drink. There is a lot of bread, meat, and vegetables. I eat everything. The men watch me, surprised. There's a sleeping potion in the food, and soon I go to sleep again. When I open my eyes, hundreds of men are carrying me on a big piece of wood. We stop at an ancient temple. The men tie me to the door of the temple. What are you doing? Why are you tying me to the door? I ask. Now I can't leave. I'm a prisoner. I can't walk far, but I can get to the temple and go inside. 